If I were to ask you what the cutest animal on earth is, you'd probably say your pet dog or cat. But we all know you're lying to yourself and your furry friends because the objectively correct answer is the otter. Never before has a creature attained such levels of unbridled adorableness. From their round, scrunchable noses to their unceasing habit of running around and playing with each other, there is nothing that invokes quite the same level of serotonin as an otter. But what if I told you that for our ancestors a few million years ago, this face was the single most terrifying thing you could have seen? We think of otters as innocent little bundles of joy, but they are amazing predators. Just look at the largest otters today, the Amazonian giant otter. These six foot long water puppies hunt in packs and are able to take down caiman and even anaconda. But even these are dwarfed by the largest otter to ever exist. A creature so massive and predatory that our ancient ancestors were on its menu. But before trying to explain just how horrifying this creature would have been, I took a trip to my local aquarium to take a gander at some modern otters to see if I can get any hints as to their predatory nature. Now just seeing these smaller relatives, you can really see the horror, the absolute ferocity they bring to the table. Just just look at him adorably scratching himself right there, just like, just like if it were a human skull just digging his talons into it. Just, what an intimidating, amazing predator. All joking aside, it was incredibly difficult to try and look at these things as voracious predators. Even when doing really boring, run-of-the-mill stuff, they had me riveted. When they were waddling around on land, it's hard to see them as much of a threat to anything. But their true potential revealed itself to me when I looked at them under the water. This right here is truly the closest mammals have ever gotten to reinventing the crocodile. Their agility and flexibility are unmatched, and I'd imagine it'd be pretty difficult for anything to escape it in its natural element. But even though I could spend an eternity watching these things, it's time to turn our attention to what this video is really about. Some bones and teeth discovered a couple years ago in the fossil beds of Ethiopia, belonging to not only the largest otter that ever existed, but the top predator of the time, Enhydriodon omoensis. Scaling these bones up, this otter would have weighed about 450 pounds, the same weight as a full-grown African lion and just as predatory. Recently, an isotope analysis was conducted to determine the diet of many of the giant prehistoric species of otter. Also, I just ran out of otter footage, so uh, we're going to go with uh, beaver for the rest of the video. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. Most of them lined up with the typical values expected from a freshwater predator with some even having huge crushing teeth specializing in giant freshwater clams. But the values for Enhydriodon omoensis were shocking. Its isotope analysis wasn't anything like a typical aquatic predator, but matched terrestrial carnivores like hyenas and big cats. So not only was this otter not tied to the water, but it was hunting large prey on land. And before I talk about the creepy thing about its teeth, let's dissect that a bit. All of the 13 otter species around today are at the very least semi-aquatic, with some living nearly full time in the water. So how is this thing running around chasing down prey when, you know, the ones around today run around like a drunk slinky? Well, we only need to look at some other members of the weasel family, things like stoats and wolverines. Despite their short legs, they're incredibly agile and are some of the most fearsome predators in their habitats. So when Hydriodon probably adapted to move more similarly to these animals, or it still hopped and waddled towards its prey like a modern otter, which is a lot more entertaining to imagine. So right, back on track, what was so special about its teeth? Well, they were incredibly rounded and designed for crushing, much like the teeth of its clam-eating relatives. But there aren't any clams on land, so what exactly did it need those teeth to crunch through? Well, the bones of other animals, of course. Unlike the teeth of dogs and big cats, which can only tear through flesh, its teeth were designed like a hyena or a wolverine's, able to break through the toughest bones of its prey and get at every last morsel of meat. And that meant real bad news for our ancestors because in Hydriodon's habitat also happened to be where Australopithecus was walking around, one of the first hominids with the ability to walk upright. These poor fellas would have been a perfect snack for an Hydriodon, bones and all. And knowing just how agile other members of the weasel family are and how distracting its cute face must have been, it would have been quite the task to escape from one alive. 
Let me know what other animals, extinct or alive, you guys want me to talk about in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.